Hello, I'm Robbie Fowler and you're watching Redman TV. Hello, welcome to Redman TV. It's the uncensored match build up ahead of Liverpool's game against Dortmund. Last pre season game, Chris. Are you excited? I'm fucking really excited, man. <laughs> I mean, look, going back to Anfield is always a great experience at the start of the year, and it's important that Liverpool keep having this last friendly at the very least at Anfield because yeah. it, it gets the crowd ready for the season. Absolutely. I mean, if you're watching at home and want to know how excited you are for this game, rate it out of 10. Stick it in the comments below. How excited? 10 being the most excited, obviously. Obviously. And 1 being just like, mank. <laughs> Basically. Because <laughs> um, it's Dortmund, isn't it? And I think uh, Dortmund are like the hips, the football hipsters, their European team of choice I to think, a certain extent. I think a few years ago they were, yeah. I think now they're just the fucking one of the European superpowers almost, aren't they? Because they've been yeah. that good now for, for a few years that I think hipsters... Probably they'll be looking for somebody else. Yeah, maybe. I, I, I debate that to a point only because obviously Bayern are the superpower yeah. in, in the Bundesliga and the fact that basically they just keep buying all of Dortmund's best players, you know what I mean, puts them a little bit of an advantage. And Dortmund have that. And I have a real empathy with, with Dortmund. I think Liverpool do. I think Brendan Rodgers likes their approach. He likes the way that the, the, the clubs run. We're, I mean, look, to be fair, we're, I'm massively envious of their fan base and the way that they, the, way that the support they give the team inside the ground. I wish Liverpool could get back to that, but I think that's the German model in general, isn't it? But what I, why I, I like Dortmund is that they're not the kind of team that goes out and spends stupid money on big name players like Liverpool they go out there they find players and they make them great yeah that's it like, and, and as you said you alluded to there Brendan Rodgers I think likes the 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 ethos of Borussia Dortmund as a club and every Liverpool fan can can understand their ethos as well and you know it's the fan ownership it's, it's everything isn't it it's just a well run club that, that all Liverpool fans I think are jealous of yeah good fo- good fo- good brand of football but it's because it, everyone's talking manager. about it a great great. Manager. And it's funny because Jurgen Klopp is if I f- if I could I wouldn't swap Brendan Rodgers for anyone to be fair. But if if Brendan Rodgers were to leave Liverpool, the only manager in world football I want and I think would be a perfect Liverpool manager is Jurgen Klopp. I just love the way he talks. I love the way that he's not asked. Yeah. I love the way that he swears in press conferences. It's the red man way. Um, <laughs> um, but no, I mean, this is a, an interesting one, isn't it? Obviously, they've got no... I mean, Marco Royce, who we've been... Whether, yeah. whether we've been linked with legitimately or Twitter has li- heavily linked us with this summer. Well, the he's, fact is, that he's their major injury concern. He won't be playing against Liverpool. They don't think he'll make the European Super Cup either against Munich, which is next week. But they, are, they have come out and said that he's not far away. So they're probably saving him now for the start of the league. Yeah. And if they can get him ready for the start of the league, they'll be fucking made up. If they can even keep him at the club until the start of the league, they'll be made up. To well, that's it, because there's all this talk of a, of a minimum fee, release clause, that kind of thing yeah. in his contract. 19.8 million quid. But that I believe that's like January that becomes that goes into effect. So it doesn't it's not this summer anyway. So you wouldn't expect them people saying like twenty million for Royce. It wouldn't be because if they were going to sell them now, you'd be selling them for more than as well. That's the idea. Goes, of, yeah. If they if they are going to sell them, now, that's the idea. They can make a little bit more money than in January. And I think the um, the chief executive or the CEO, whatever they call him, of Bayern Munich, has gotten a little bit of trouble with Borussia Dortmund and their fan base this week because he's come out and started talking about him now in the press. At press conferences, every sort of two or three. No precedent days. for that in the past. No, no, but it's like Bayern Munich is so big and they they've stolen so many of Borussia Dortmund players over the year. It's just like you're picking on them now. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's not funny anymore. Go do some scouting. Yeah, it's not do funny. Do some scouting, anymore. you lazy motherfuckers. And you know, people can level that at us at Southampton, but it's been one summer. <laughs> do you know what I mean? This yeah, has been going on for a decade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I mean, let's look ahead. In fact, I'm interested to know uh, on the Marco Royce thing what your thoughts are on him. I know uh, he, he is. I mean, you've said it before. The kind of player that Liverpool we should be in the market for. He's on that cusp, isn't he? Of got of being a top talent at a good club, but he could become like a, like a megastar with yeah. his next move. Could I think we were, we were talking today earlier this morning where we were on our way down to Anfield and we were talking about the type of player that Liverpool needs to sign and stuff and you know we're not saying he is linked or anything but for me if you if you're linked with a Falcao or a Cavani that's amazing and I'd love one of those players at the club but balancing that with Sturridge as well it it becomes a little bit more difficult because Sturridge wants to play as the main guy he feels like probably he's got a bit of a monkey off his back with Suarez yeah. leaving the club now and that he's going to be the focus of Liverpool Football Club and 
I think having someone who's more of a forward and not direct competition for storage could be good for the balance of the dressing room and the balance of the team on the whole. Yeah, it's uh, we said it's an interesting problem for Brendan Rodgers to face up to. But anyway, let's get back to let's get back to Dortmund. What kind of team would you like to see Liverpool put out? The, the team that's going to start the season. Yeah, yeah. I think it it's important that the. I think he'll already know, but it's important that the fans know where we're going with it. I think, um, yeah, I just want to see all those components play together for the first time because I, I get the feeling during pre-season so far we've had bits of the first team, almost units and yeah. these little, like, maybe it's it's the four defenders are now playing yeah. and the midfield, and I want to see how it all clicks together and I want to see the type of football that we're going to be playing this year. Well, on that then, does that mean, does Lovren get a game? Because he's not, he's not kicking well, he's, off a little bit. He's joined up with the squad now, hasn't he? As we speak, um, for the first time. So, do you throw him straight in? And uh, you know, this, this is the last opportunity to get him a game before. Well, look, the, the, yeah, I start. think I think you've got to because we talked all year, all last season. We talked about a settled back four. What's the point in fucking start with a back four that you don't think is going to be your first choice three games in? Yeah. No. Just because he's not fucking played with them, it's stupid. Yeah, no, it's an interesting point. But I think there's got to be a case to be made that it's Sacco, Skirtle, though, because it's not like either of them particularly put a foot wrong in No, they, they haven't put a, put a foot wrong in pre-season, and, and in fairness, Skirtle... Although, well, I suppose, that, I suppose that might actually be up for debate. I suppose Man United, there could be a yeah. question mark. But, go on. but look, Sacco, if Sacco and Lovren and Rodgers sees that as the future of this football club, then he's got to fucking have faith in it. Yeah. And he's got to, he's got to say, look, I've gone out and spent £20 million on Lovren, not for, not for fucking being a backup because he's better than fucking Skittle or he's better than Sacco and I think Rodgers is strong willed enough to go and do that but on the flip side if Skittle proves himself in training and proves himself a better player he'll go straight back in the team absolutely uh, there's another question for you for the comments below who is Liverpool's start and centre back pairing for the season ahead you know I, I think on paper it looks I think Sacco Lovren's nailed on but you know, Skittles not. I don't think. I think Skittles done as much as he possibly could to put himself in, in contention, well, yeah, that, particularly over the last twelve months. Something that not everybody's spoken about is the fact that Lovren has played left centre back. Yeah. So why isn't a lot Lovren scale? That could be that too. That's a, well, that's another shout. There's your, there's your potential variations. Could be. It could we get one last hurrah from Danny Agger. Could be on. A, could be on his way. That'd be nice. Bring him on with a minute to go. Though. I think this is this is one. I think he's saying with this is the. We want to see 60 minutes of as, str- as close to a first choice team as we've got, and then you can start making a few, a exactly, few changes. Yeah. And, that, and then we can start to enjoy it. But we need to know that the, the dynamic of the team works, and we need to see those components together as fans. Okay, we'll move field then. Steven Gerrard, Anke? Yeah. Then are we talking a 4 3 3? Three, three, I'd say 4 3 3 so far. I'd be looking, obviously, if Lalana wasn't injured, I'd want him in there. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's got to be Coutinho, Sterling, Sturridge up top. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I'd like to see Mark a bit later on in the game. Yeah, if he's, Again, if he's fit. If he's fit, yeah. Um, Similar with Sturridge, I suppose. Hopefully, hopefully fit for this game, should be. Yeah, well, they, they said he, they, they thought he would be. Whether they'll risk him in this game or not is a little bit different, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, and then the midfield three, I'd probably think of Gerard, Henderson, and Allen maybe at the moment. No, no space for MHN. chat. I'd like to see him play, but I don't think he will. <laughs> Let's look at check us out with the squad. Well, there's isn't <laughs> it? players going to be missing out. There's good players going to be sat on the bench, even though not in the necessarily in the centre forward positions. Sure, although, yeah. we, although you know, I know Ricky Lambert's not in a great pre season, but. Still, like I, I'd still rather have him on the bench than Iago Aspas all day long. Yeah, yeah, I'd rather have a fucking double decker sat on the bench than Iago Aspas. Though more use, well, bus or chocolate. Although Aspas is probably better in the sunshine. Bus or chocolate. Bus or chocolate. Double decker. Mm, chocolate. Too bad. Right, um, <laughs> let me know who you start in eleven. Well, practice with these quick fire rounds, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> you even nailed that a couple of years ago, like. <laughs> yeah. Um, Obviously, we're getting ahead. Uh, the the season, lo- the new season looms after this game as well. Next week on the subscribe shows, we're going to be discussing obviously the the Premier League build up. We're going to be discussing all of plus transfer news in far greater detail on the RedmenTV.com. And I believe we're actually going to make it like an amnesty week, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to we're going to lift the paywall and, and let you see the content on, the, on that week's show. Chris is going to lift the skirt and let you look at what he's got on display. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. It's bad enough as just a mental image, <laughs> <laughs> not an. Actual physical image. Um, 
<laughs> anyway, and also, uh, obviously, we're gearing up towards the new season. We we went down to YouTube this week and we got to speak to the Full Time Devils and Arsenal Fan TV. And for some reason, they're killing us on YouTube subscriptions. And just to make it very clear to you, I understand there's a branding issue here. There are subscriber shows which are behind the paywall on the website, but subscribing on YouTube is completely free. All you got to do is click the button in the top corner of the screen. It's completely free. You get early access to all of the uh, all of our free content if you're too tight to go on the website. The thing is, though, as well with the, with the early access is what you're talking about. Is straight after the videos upload, we're there in the comments section. Yeah. Talking so having that early access and knowing the videos are there. If you want to come and chat to us, it's fucking good. If you don't, then um, it's not. still subscribe. Subscribe anyway, just so we can beat the Manx and beat the Gooners this season. Um, anyway, thanks very much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on any of the topics we've discussed so far. Don't forget to click subscribe and, and check out more Redmen TV Gooners. And obviously, we've seen that uh, you've been playing a little bit of FIFA with Jose Enrique. Mm. Has he has he has he has he got the better of you, or are you, are you better than him? No, he's just trying. He's just asking me too many times, just to give him some some lessons, you know. So every time I'm free in the afternoon, I just give him some lessons to to teach him how to play FIFA. <laughs> <laughs>